Today I've got a nice classical style Japanese geometry problem. And what I mean by a classical Japanese geometry problem is this is the type of problem that is well known to be found on Japanese woodblock prints from the 1800s and earlier. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have a three, four, five right triangle. So let's note that that's a right triangle. And then we've got two circles of equal radius that are inscribed within the right triangle as such. And our goal is to find the radius of one of these circles. Well, and thus find the radius of both circles. Okay, so let's maybe jump into it and see what we can do. Okay, I'll start by introducing some line segments. So I'll put a center on the circle right here and then I'll drop this down to a perpendicular line segment with this base, and then I'll just note that I'm gonna call this R my radius. Then I'll do the same thing here, so drop that up to the hypotenuse, that'll be another length R. Then I'll do something similar over here. So let's find our center, go over here at length R, and then go up to the hypotenuse again with length R. And now that gives us some real motivation to connect these two centers, and that connects and builds a rectangle. Notice that rectangle has one length of r and one length of two times r because we've got two radii here. Okay, so that's looking good. Now, where would we wanna go from here? Well, looking at this, there's kind of a obvious triangle to complete, which is, similar to our large triangle. And that triangle can be found by dropping this down here and pulling this over here. Notice that gives this little bit right here a length r, and this little bit right here also length r. But we know, don't know the length of this or this. All we know is that this triangle right here, this small one, is similar to the large triangle. So next up, what we'd like to do is introduce maybe some more variables into this situation. So let's maybe call this length right here x and this length right here y. And that gives us our first equation. Notice we know that 2r plus x plus y is equal to 5, given that that's just really two ways of measuring this hypotenuse here. But now we can use like a fairly standard fact to say that this length right here is also x. So I'll add that in there. Now maybe how could we do that? Well, we could uh, complete another set of triangles by linking this vertex here with this vertex here. And then we could show that those two triangles are equivalent or those two triangles are congruent. Then we can do the same thing over here to get a length of y. And then from this information, we can write the side lengths of these two triangles. Notice this entire length right here is 4. But now if we subtract off r and y, we have this length right here. So this is 4 minus r minus y. And then similarly, this length right here will be 3 minus r minus x. And then now we've got this inner triangle has side length 3 minus r minus x, 4 minus r minus y, and hypotenuse equal to 2r just by our construction. And now we can apply the similarity of these two triangles. So let's do that with this side length right here and this hypotenuse. So that gives us 3 minus r minus x over the hypotenuse 2r is equal to this length over 5. So 3 over 5. So that's just by the equal proportionality of similar triangles and their side lengths. Then applying similarity to this base along with this hypotenuse will give us 4 minus r minus y over 2r again, but now it's equal to 4 over 5 just because of the comparison that we're making. Now we can cross multiply here. This is going to give us 15 minus 5r minus 5x equals 6r, and this one will give us 20 minus 5r minus 5y equals, let's see, that'll be 8r. Now we can maybe move all the variables to one side and all the numbers to the other side. This one will give us something like 11r plus 5x equals 15 after we move things around. Whereas this one over here gives us, let's see, it'll be 13r plus 5y equals 20. But now we've got a system of three equations 
So this is an equation right here. This is an equation right here. This is an equation right here. And then three unknowns, R, X, and Y. Although all we really want is R. So let's solve each of these for X and Y respectively. So this one will give us X equals 15 minus 11 R over five. That could also be written as three minus 11 over five R. Maybe that's a little nicer. Then we could do something similar over here. We'll get Y is equal to, let's see, four minus 13 over five R. Now what we'll do is take this value of X, this value of Y, and pull it into this equation up here, and then we'll have a single equation just for R. So let's see, we'll have 2R plus X, but now X is this, so that's 3 minus 11 over 5R, and then plus Y, but Y is that, so that's plus 4 minus 13 over 5R equals 5. And now we can start combining like terms. So if we combine the R terms, this one, this one, and this one, you'll see that we get minus 14R over 5. Then we have this 3 plus 4 is 7, and then subtract it over, we'll get negative 2. Oh, but now we're pretty much home free. We can multiply both sides by negative 5 over 14, and we'll see that R is equal to 5 over 7. But that was our final goal. Our goal was to find the radius of these circles, and that's exactly what we've done. It's 5 over 7, and that's a good place to stop.